um, on Yoli Musa. Uh, there has been someone arrested, um, you know, a suspect. Uh, so that's good. At least maybe this case can move forward and she can get some justice and her family can get some peace. Okay, so I'll go ahead and read this out. Article, it says, Police identify person of interest in slaying of 16-year-old Jolie Musa. A 17-year-old from Alexandria, Virginia area is a person of interest in the killing of Fairfax County teenager Jolie Musa, whose body was discovered in a Mount Vernon area park Friday, police announced Tuesday. The teen, who was not named because he is a juvenile, has not been charged in Jolie slaying, but he is facing a count of felony assault in a relation to an attack on the 16-year-old that occurred before she disappeared January 12th. The assault was previously unreported, and police uncovered it as they searched for Jolie, who went missing after leaving her Mount Vernon area to home two weeks ago. The 17-year-old was arrested January 18th in the assault. Fairfax County Police declined to detail the relationship between the boy and Jolie. They also declined to reveal the nature of the assault because the case involves a juvenile. At a news conference Tuesday evening, Fairfax County Police <clears throat> Rich Perez defended the, depart the department's handling of Jolie's case. The teen's family has criticized the department's handling of the matter. Family members said that they thought police did not approach the disappearance with urgency. Every resource necessary has been and will be deployed. Fairfax County police officers found Jolie's body covered in leaves and debris in Fairfax County's Woodlawn Park on Friday morning. Perez declined to say what prompted police to go to the park, which they had searched on January 20th and is less than a mile from Jolie's home. Jolie's mother said in a Facebook post that the mother last saw her daughter leaving home about 4.15 p.m. <clears throat> on January 12th. The Post said Jolie told her sister she would be right back but did not return. About 8.02, Jolie's sister received a text from Jolie's phone saying that Jolie was going to a party in Norfolk. That was the last time members of her family heard from her. Alexandria and Norfolk are about 190 miles apart by road. The family reported Jolie missing the next day. Surreal Musa, uh, Jolie's father, I'm sorry, maybe it's, I don't know, Surreal Musa, um, told the television that Jolie received a call on January 12th from a 12-year-old boy's phone. The father said the boy later told him a man asked to borrow his phone to place the call. Perez would not confirm the account and would not say whether the man used the boy's cell phone the man who used the boy's cell phone was a 17-year-old. Police have not offered a motive for the slaying or explained how Jolie was killed. Also unclear is how long she was dead before police found her body. Perez said an autopsy and the case is pending. Fairfax County Police said last week that they had interviewed about 20 of Jolie's friends, but many of them were not co uh, cooperating. I'm <laughs> sorry, y'all. Fairfax County Police Second Lieutenant James Bacon said at the news conference Tuesday that Jolie left home under circumstances that did not appear to be unusual, so there was no reason to think she had been abducted or was in any danger. Jolie disappeared on a Friday. By the following Tuesday, police decided to upgrade her status to an endangered because she has not posted to social media or had any other electronic contact with anyone close to her. Police said they followed up numerous leads in the case as far away as Philadelphia. <clears throat> it's so terrible what happened to this young, beautiful girl. Um, you know, I just hope and pray that, you know, that, you know, if this boy did something to her, I hope that, you know, that he gets whatever time that he needs to get and I hope that her family finds justice for her and you know they can all rest um you know it, it's bad enough having a a death but it's it's a lot worse when you don't have any closure to it you know so 
I don't know, say a prayer for the family. Uh, I'm sure they need it. And leave your comments and feedback below if you would like. Uh, and if you'd like to email me anything, my email's in the description box. Also, if you want to go to my Facebook and follow that, that's on um, in the description box also. Just click on the link and it'll take you there. So, you guys have a great night. And until the next time, I will talk to you guys later.